Hello, this is the Provoke Brawn, and this is a video to compare the HyperX Cloud Orbit S with the SteelSeries Arctix Pro Wireless. This might seem like a bit of an odd comparison because one headset is wireless and the other one is not, but they are both premium, high end, expensive gaming headsets that have a number of different features that make them interesting. Now the Cloud Orbit S is a fantastically premium high quality wired gaming headset that comes with large 100mm planar magnetic drivers as well as some plush deep ear cups that I'll discuss in a bit more depth as I go through and a really fantastic design with interesting audio that I'll also talk about a bit later on and a robust durable headband design as well as some rubberized outer coverings on the ear cups and the headband itself and it's a fantastic bit of kit. The SteelSeries Arctic Pro Wireless meanwhile is a slightly different affair. This doesn't have an extendable headband but instead has this ski goggle velcro held on headband in, in place and it is perhaps for that reason a tad smaller however what is interesting about this headset is that you can remove and upgrade those things you can buy yourself new speaker tags for the outside of the ear cups as well as a brand new headband and um, customize and personalize the look and feel of the headset you'll also note here when you're looking at this video at the moment you'll see the still series battery in one of the ear cups as well I'm going to talk to you a bit more depth about that but basically this headset uses hot swappable batteries uh, one battery is on charge while the other one is in use at all times and that is a fantastic design now in terms of comfort some have commented that the Arctic Pro wireless is a bit tight and I will agree it's a bit tighter than other headsets but it's not too tight for the most part however because the headband is not extendable the size of the headset relies on the ski goggle fitment and that is only with a small bit of velcro so you can only really tighten and loose it a very small amount it is very flexible as you can see it is essentially just a bit of material and that only covers the inner and outer bits of the headband itself so it's not easy to make much larger however the headband does have quite a bit of flex to it so I find it fits nicely it doesn't crush my head but it's also similarly not very loose so the fit if you have a larger head you might want to consider the Cloud Orbit S if you're weighing up these two as your options anyway however I do like the customization options of the Arctic Pro Wireless although this kit is a bit leery that SteelSeries sent to me but it's a good example of what you can do with it another thing you can do which I'm showing here is you can upgrade the inner ear cups and put faux leather ones on that's another purchase and I'll show you a bit later on what the standard ones look like you'll note also you have a multitude of controls on this headset and that there is a lot of bend and flex and tilt in the ear cups I mean meaning it might not be larger but it does fit nicely the microphone is also retractable and there's a mic mute button on the rear as well as an LED light to let you know when it's muted and you'll note an audio warning as well that you can hear in the ear cups as a slight beep to let you know that you've muted the microphone and unmuted it so you do know when that's happening. The HyperX Cloud Orbit S by comparison has a detachable microphone that's incredibly bendable. That too has a mic mute button as well as a mic volume wheel on the rear. There is a USB-C to USB-C cable included in the box that allows you to connect to devices that accept that, including Android phones. A USB-C to USB-A cable that allows you to connect to PC and PlayStation 4. And a 3.5mm connector for other uses. So as you can see there are plenty of connection options and a fancy little carry bag to put it all in as well. You can see there are quite a few different connection options on the Cloud Orbit S, but there are on the Steel Series Arctic Pro Wireless as well, which I'll show you as you go through this video and the different ways you can connect it. It's worth noting the Cloud Orbit S is not wireless and it doesn't have Bluetooth support, so you won't be able to connect it to your phone or to random laptops. You do need to plug it in. It does, however, have a spiffing design to it, a very 
high quality, high premium design. I had someone comment on a previous video they thought it looked cheap and plastic. Actually, I think it's a very premium look and feel to it. When you get it in the hand, it has a good heft to it. The ear cups especially are incredibly well designed. The headband is also quite robust and a nice metal finish to it and it looks quite understated. There's no RGB lighting and nothing too layer in your face. You'll note the faux leather padded headband, this rubberized texture on the outside and multiple connection options on the headset as well as multiple buttons and volume wheels for various different things. Microphone too is also very flexible and it's nice to have a microphone that's detachable because it means you could use this headset as headphones out of the house if you wanted to, especially plugging it into your phone. For example, now you can see one of the striking features about the HyperX Cloud Orbit S is the ear cup design. These are magnificently deep and plush and large ear cups. They have a faux leather outer and a memory foam internal cushioning, which means they're incredibly comfortable to wear. They're also deep enough and plush enough that they block out a lot of external noise not completely block out all external noise but they certainly do a very good job of it. The SteelSeries Arctic Pro Wireless by default comes with a fibre mesh ear cup design to it that certainly doesn't block out as much noise and you can purchase the faux leather ear cup upgrade that I'll show you later on but even then it doesn't block out as much noise as the Cloud Orbit S because that just has these really deep cushions by comparison. And this is definitely a highlight. I complained about the Corsair Virtuoso being a bit uncomfortable. And if you've seen my Versus video on that or the review on that, then you'll know about those problems. But with the Cloud Orbit S, that is not an issue at all. Nice deep ear cups, as well as a nice soft material on the inside. But you should find, unless you've got massive ears that stick out really far, that you won't touch the ear cups or the drivers with your ears because it's just that well designed. And if you do, you will still find it's quite soft and comfortable too. Now as I mentioned the Cloud Orbit S also sports some pretty spiffing drivers that are capable of up to 50,000 Hz frequency response. You can also remove the ear cups by teasing them at the top and bottom so you can get a view of these drivers. There are 100mm drivers magnetic planar drivers that have the Audi's wave and technology in them as well. They also look pretty mean. They deliver a very rich sound and when it comes to sound experience you will probably find Cloud Orbit S has a much better audio experience to it. Steel Series Arctic Pro Wireless can manage 40,000 Hz and does certainly have a very good audio experience but as a wireless headset it's not quite as high quality or as rich sounding. It is still however a very good sounding headset and it's one of my favourites. Certainly worth considering. Now here you can see the original ear cups. Obviously got the speaker tags and the headbands been upgraded but the original mesh fibre inner ear cups and what they look like. They do easily pop off much more easily than the Cloud Orbit S and you'll see there's just a slight ridge around the edge of the drivers where you can hook on and install the upgraded ear cups and these are straight from steel series and they're very affordable not too much money at all and a worthy upgrade if you want to breathe new life into your headset or if you want to try and block out more external noise or if you just find faux leather to be more comfortable than the sort of microfiber or mesh coverings that a lot of the headsets have on them at the moment and these don't block out a great amount of noise and they're not particularly deep as you can see they're not like significantly deeper but they certainly do improve the audio experience they certainly aren't as deep and plush as those with a Cloud Orbit S but it does go to show that the SteelSeries Arctic Pro Wireless is much more upgradable or at least a lot more easy to upgrade a lot easier to upgrade than the Cloud Orbit S all you require is just basically pop the ear cups off and put new ones on and there are other options available so I've been told by other people who have commented on the videos as I said these ones are straight from Steel Series, so you can guarantee a fit but other ear cups might fit too. Now when it comes to design the 
Cloud Orbit S is a fantastic looker. It also delivers really good sound. As I said, it has the Audi's Wave NX 3D sound technology, which I'll discuss in a bit more depth in a minute. But it basically delivers really rich sound experience, as well as the comfort and the aesthetics. It also delivers fantastic audio when plugged in, especially to a gaming PC, but also USB-C to USB-C connection on an Android phone is fairly fantastic. The SteelSeries Arctic Pro Wireless gets its connections for the most part from the control box. This little control box sits on your desk and plugs directly into your PC. You can also plug it in to various other things and consoles. You'll see a 3.5mm connection underneath the headset as well as a micro USB connection so there are other options and a keen-eyed viewer will also spot a Bluetooth button that you can connect to there as well and that allows for a dual connectivity which is fantastic and you don't often see that option now the control box gives you access to a variety of settings you'll note a large volume wheel but this also doubles as a menu button so from within the menus you can do various things like adjust the chat mix which basically dials between game audio and voice audio from something like discord so you can strike a balance between those two you can also go through the equalizer settings and choose from a number of different ones for whatever you're doing and also set up and create your own custom EQs if you want to do that sort of thing. You can turn surround sound on and off and the surround sound is very good on this headset too. It's a nice virtual surround sound experience. You can also adjust the side tone level and that is worth using because you do block out some external noise so being able to hear your own voice is fairly important and you can also change the Bluetooth settings when it's connected via a Bluetooth device. You'll note there are also source options depending on what you've got plugged into the headset. A highlight here is the hot swappable batteries that I was talking about earlier on. You note on the side of the control box is a little slot for plugging in your battery. So this is the battery that goes in the ear cup and there are two of them included with the headset itself and they just pop in there to charge when they're not in use or when it's flat and you need to swap it over. Once it's plugged in you'll see on the front of the control box a little indicator to let you know that it's charging and how much power it has. Then when the headset warns you that the battery that's in the headset itself is getting low you can just take the ear cup off, take the battery out and swap these two over so one is always on charge while the other one is in use and vice versa which is incredibly handy. On the rear you'll note line in line out, USB connection, optical in and optical out connections giving you plenty of different connection options. Now as I said the HyperX Cloud Orbit S has this 3D sound technology. It delivers a really interesting and rich sound experience but it also has this clever 3D technology in it which basically tracks the movement of your head to change the positional audio and soundscape of what you're hearing based on where you're looking on the screen and adjusting to compensate for that which really results in an interesting experience in whatever game you're playing, obviously you're going to make a big difference in the game that requires positional audio, something like a first person shooter or a battle royale game, but it delivers a really interesting and rich audio experience that's fantastic. And you can adjust and turn that 3D audio on and off by pressing and holding the 3D button easily, and you can also tweak it within the accompanying software. You note here too there's the power button and volume control wheels and a mic mute button all on the outside here so you have the ability to quickly and easily adjust everything basically on the fly that you need to. Although there's no easy way that I know of to switch between EQ profile settings. Now with the SteelSeries Arctic Pro Wireless as I said it has the ability to connect to Bluetooth devices. So you can pair it with your phone as well as the using it plugged into your PC or console at the same time. So I've got it plugged into my PC, I've also connected it Bluetooth to my phone. You can see a blue flashing light and a white flashing light. The white one means it's turned on, blue one means it's also connected to my phone. This is great because it means you can use the headset out of the house without the control box to listen to music on your phone, but it also means you can watch YouTube videos between games 
or if you go into the bathroom you can use the head carry on using the headset because it's wireless it means you can wander around the house and be really comfortable and that is one of the reasons I like the Arctic Pro wireless so much is because dual connectivity a pretty brilliant design very good audio experience retractable microphone and the fact that you can use it connected to multiple different devices really easily the Cloud Orbit S if you don't mind having wires is certainly a wonderful choice in terms of the audio quality designs the premium look and feel of it and the overall experience is a brilliant bit of kit both these headsets are fantastic and I'd highly recommend either of them if you want a wireless one you can't go wrong with the Arctic Pro wireless in my mind and the HyperX Cloud Orbit S certainly delivers a better audio experience but with wires as well as a multitude of connectivity options this has been the Provoke Prawn hope you found this video useful enough to subscribe let me know in the comments if you have any questions Thanks for watching. This has been the Provoke Prawn. Hope you found this video useful, interesting, or hilarious. Be sure to subscribe and check out these other videos, as well as taking a look in the description for links and information you might find useful. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions or anything you'd like to see extra about this. And have a great life.